G'day and welcome back to UC Mad Scientist. Well, Enterprise Connect has rolled around again and Microsoft has, for the second time, taken away the best of Enterprise Connect as part of their keynote. Uh, and they decided to show off a whole bunch of new features for Microsoft Teams and M365. So here's everything you need to know that was announced at Enterprise Connect and during the keynote in 12 minutes. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. It is great to be back here with you all. And we at Microsoft believe this new technology is not just for a chosen few, but for every person in every organization, empowering each of us to work together across teams, across countries, across languages, meeting and exceeding new demands. This is the future of work, an intelligent, workplace for everyone. And in this period of time, we're announcing today that Teams is now being used by more than 500,000 organizations globally. Thank you, Lori. Watch what happens when one of my colleagues posts in a language other in Spanish. I can use the translation capabilities in Teams to translate from Spanish to my native language, English, as Teams supports more than 60 different languages. But I'm going to share an announcement with you guys today, and you're going to be the first to see this. Here goes. Private channels, our number one most requested feature, are on their way. Over here in the Teams engineering channel, you can see it's been demarcated with a lock, indicating that the conversations and files are ring-fenced to a select number of participants. It's being tested internally with customers and will be coming later this year. But what you're seeing here today is the new calendar experience in Teams. You now have a full calendar of your day. And what you'll notice is that it looks very similar to the Outlook calendar experience. And all your meetings are carried across as well. But it's got additional capabilities like being able to right click and start a chat with meeting participants. So Farron showed us examples of teams at work for information workers. But what about those two billion people out there who are on the front lines? We talk about these as first line workers. And I'm going to ask Kira uh, to come out now and show you what we're doing for first line workers. First line workers don't have desktops. In fact, they don't even work at desks. So this becomes integral to their day-to-day -day operations. Allow me to show you some new features. Shifts, your schedule management tool in Teams, replaces those outdated processes of managing shift schedules and gives a rich experience from the mobile device. First-line workers can easily clock in and out of their shifts and breaks, and managers can geofence a worksite location and use GPS data to validate that a team member is at work. And say, for instance, a first-line worker needs to take a photo if this crumbled up receipt. Well, they can use smart camera. With smart camera, simply take a photo, and it gets optimized automatically, making the image clearer to consume and easier to read. The great thing about smart camera is that the image does not get stored locally on the device. And a first-line worker needs to transport inventory in a hurry. Well, they can simply share their location to let their team know that they're on their way. And in those moments when you need to share an update on the fly, you can use the record and share audio feature. With the hold of a button, you can record a message and share it with your colleague. And should they not be able to listen to it right then and there, they can listen to it on demand later. And so we recognize first-time workers work in dynamic and dispersed environments. So we've created a new capability called Praise. Praise is your employee recognition tool in Teams that enables managers and team members to send a badge to congratulate a job well done and to foster greater camaraderie amongst the team. But I recognize there are a, a dozen of IT admins in the audience, and I've got something special for you our new first-line worker configuration policy. You can apply this policy or create your own custom policy. Say you're an enterprise and you only want your first-line workers to have access to shifts, chat, and calling, well, you can create a custom policy and apply it exclusively to your first-line workforce. Now, 
you can give role-based access to the team's experiences that your employees need most. In healthcare, we're creating experiences for care teams to work better together, manage patient data, and handle urgent messages. And in the education space, we've created functionality for teachers to create assignments, manage grades, and track student performance. But now let's talk about meetings. And I'm gonna have Jason Ilya come and show you what we're doing with meetings right now. Thanks, Lori. But to get started, I'm gonna start with the very largest type, a live event. I'm gonna kick off my day tuning into one that was already recorded this morning. Now, before I get started, my Mandarin's a bit rusty, but that's no issue. I can actually go into the settings now and adjust this to English, my native language, so I can follow along. So not only can you watch these events live or on demand, but now anyone watching can adjust them to fit the language that they prefer. And with that, today we're happy to announce that live events is general availability for everyone. Now you can watch them in Teams, in Yammer, or in Stream for up to 10,000 attendees. We actually have a new feature that I'm going to show you here called Live Captions. This new feature gives you captions in real time during your meeting. We built it for people who are hard of hearing or have different levels of language proficiency. And instead of just blurring your background, you can now customize it. That's right. So I can drop a custom background for any event, like the one you see here for Enterprise Connect. Now I want you to pay attention what happens when I hit join here, because you're going to see a pre-join screen in the meeting, and a notification is going to pop up right there. And what Teams is doing is it's telling me that the meeting has already started and is in progress, and there are multiple people on the call, and it recommends that I join muted. So I'm not that guy. So let me go ahead and join muted. And check this out. We heard your requests. What you're seeing right now is a preview of our four to nine participant expansion of the new meeting video gallery. Hey, Jace. Good morning, everyone. Sorry I'm a little late. I had to stop and pick something up. No worries. Um, and that is super simple to do with proximity-based join, which is coming to Teams desktop and mobile in a few weeks. So just with a couple of taps, my phone detects the room, and I can add it to the meeting, and a couple of things will happen. Luckily, I can do that with video pinning shipped now on Microsoft Teams rooms. So all I have to do is find Phil in the roster, select pin, and now we see Phil's video on the full screen. That's perfect. Hey, Phil, last week when we had this meeting, I think you took a screenshot of the whiteboard and the notes that we captured. Can you share that with everybody so we can go over it? Actually, better yet, why don't you paste that into the Microsoft whiteboard? So what Phil is doing is starting up the Microsoft Digital Whiteboard, which is coming soon to Teams meetings. When this, in this whiteboard, Phil can not only paste a picture from our brainstorming last week, but he can also convert that picture to digital ink. And once he does that, we can all ideate on it. So Jace and Phil, using their personal devices, can go ahead and co-edit. But that's not all. We are excited to announce that we are adding support for touch displays to Microsoft Teams rooms. So here we have a beautiful Avacore touch display, which means I can join in the fun and go ahead and co-edit right with Phil and Jace right in the room. My whiteboard classic edition here, that we are adding support for content capture cameras in Microsoft Teams rooms. All you have to do is connect any USB webcam like this one here. Now, there's some magic that's gonna happen very quickly when I do this, so pay close attention. Did you all catch that? Basically making everything super legible for remote participants. So if I pick up my marker and I wanna go ahead and write on the whiteboard, people can see right through me. And when I move aside, everyone can see what I wrote, and that now becomes part of the collaboration. And this is the kind of magic that Teams is going to bring this year to every meeting and every meeting room. Uh, but now I want to welcome out Bob Davis. There you are, Bob. Hey, thank you, Lori. <laughs> We've been really focused on helping 
all of you and taking our IT admin capabilities to the next level. Microsoft Teams Admin Center now supports a Teams-only mode to simplify the Skype to Teams upgrade process. With meetings first, customers can use Teams for meetings even when their chats and calling remains on premises. In less than four months, we successfully transitioned 180,000 employees and vendors from Skype, to bu Skype for Business to Teams. Second, we had over 1,200 champions across 57 countries that helped people on board. This has been the fastest upgrade that Microsoft IT has ever done. Hi everyone, here at the Microsoft Teams booth, check out the latest Teams devices from all of our partners, whether you're in the conference room, at your desk, or on the go. For larger conference rooms, we have Microsoft Teams room devices from Logitech, Poly, Prestron, and Yaling, all launching this year. Now a growing trend has been the smaller focus room, and here we have an all-in-one solution from Yaling that offers great video and audio. And at your desk, executives can now have a large touchscreen video phone experience. Or you can choose from the many Teams desk phones like these. Sennheiser, Yealink, and Jabra have new speaker phones out too that have a dedicated Teams button so you can take key actions in Teams with just one touch. And for everyone who lives on their mobile phone, Polly offers a mobile station. It wirelessly charges your mobile phone and offers a great Teams meeting and calling experience when paired with your device. And don't forget to check out our latest headsets, like these fully wireless earbuds from Jabra. They sound great even when you're on the go. And best of all, all the devices that you just saw today are now available on our brand new Devices Marketplace, where you can get up to 40% off. So use this promo code and try it out today. As hopefully you can see today, the intelligent workplace is truly here. I want to thank all of you for being such a great audience today. All teams are welcome. Thank you.